Stevens was very welcoming. Stevens was small, and I liked the fact that I wasn't going to get lost in here. The professors were going to know my name. And I built, uh, I got a lot of friends. And whenever I had problems, I was able to go to the professor right away. So I looked at the, uh, and the buildings here, they're normal buildings. It all looked welcoming. It looked like a community. Uh, my girlfriend and I, and she eventually became my wife, we were coming here, we were going to the dances, and uh, we were able to socialize more and still get our work done, get our interviews done, get work. That was fantastic. One of the things that helped me the most in here, I, I had always wanted to be an engineer, and I became an engineer. Stevens gives you a general engineering degree. Other schools give you mechanical engineering, give you a chemical engineering degree. Stevens gave you general engineering with a major in mechanical, which is what I got. The fact that I had general engineering helped me tremendously in industry because I was working for Kogi Palmolive Company, building plants throughout the world. And I needed to discuss electricals, I needed to discuss chemical processes. Civil engineering was part of it, and mechanical engineering, putting in the machinery. For me, that was tremendous because it gave me a well-rounded education and it stressed humanities, which allowed me to make presentations and to discuss things one-on-one -on -one with a person without all being completely technical. Well, the research that uh, we are working on at Stevens right now is uh, for real life, real situations that we have right now. We're working on uh, harbor safety, we're working on things having to do with, uh, we developed the uh, tricorder from Star Trek, that's one of the things. This is all research. These are ways in which our students are branching out to medical, to security, to deal whatever is in the world. And they're being educated, and at the same time they're doing the research that is needed through their senior projects to get back out in the industry and to contribute to society. The university has done a lot of things for me. It gave me the education, so it gave me my life. With it, I have gone to industry, I have been an engineer, I got my master's degree here too, and through this life, I want to make sure that other students also get it. I came here to interview through my company so that I could get more of the Stevens students into our company. And let me tell you, when you interview a Stevens student, and I have interviewed students at other universities, there is a difference. There is a higher caliber, especially with the guys that have gone to co-op. And I come back to Stevens not only to hire the students, but also to mix with the young uh, students over here. And I like what I see. I like which way they are going. They are involved in tremendous things, engineers without borders. They're involved in, they're going to the Dominican Republic to do work over there. So I am in there and whenever I can, I can contribute with expertise or I can contribute monetarily to help and carry out those projects. In the co-op program, you come here as a student and instead of finishing engineering in four years, you extend it to five. Your first year, you study. And then the next semester, actually that starting from that summer, you start to work at an industry. And there's a bunch of industries that are working with students to hire students at this point in time. And you work one semester, study another semester, work another semester. So when you come out of here, you practically come out with two years of experience. When you interview this student, okay, that person has a lot of experience. It's different, you, you can tell immediately without him telling you that he's, a, he's been in the co-op program, that he is an engineer. He has come through there and it is a world of difference. The students should all go that way.